my dad's been recruited to help screw in the bolts while Billy's in the rabbit hole. Say hi. Hey, <laughs> Yesterday, we put our first pin in the front of the hull. That guy right there, and I'm in this little tiny space trying to hold the bolts, and it was absolutely ridiculous. It took us like five hours to get that pin in. Probably one of the hardest jobs I've done on this boat so far. Today, we got a little more help. Our friends Ryan and Micah are here. They just swung by, and they're lending us a hand for a bit. What's his name? Artemis. And Artemis. We're getting the second one in. We got two bolts in so far. It's going much smoother than yesterday. Now for the other four. All right, moment of truth. We got the holes in the beam. We got our compression tubes. About to put it in place. Hopefully everything lines up and fits right in nice and snug into our little cradles here. All right, you ready? Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. It's like pretty much there, right? Is it straight, is it lined up? Yeah. Like it looks perfectly in the center? I think so. Me too. Just a little motivation and should be in there. Always ruining my paint job. I'm using a towel. We got the Seagull Striker plate mounted. Well, it's up there, and all the holes are drilled. We got four holes going vertically. And I just cut up a piece of G10 for the backing plate underneath. So we're gonna bolt that up, It'll be nice and secure, and then we can get our four stay back on. Probably keep it loose for now before we have our seagull strike or martingale wire, seagull striker wire, whatever that thing is called, to counter that four stay load. But we could just put it on loosely. I'm also putting these little G10 tubes inside here all the way from the end of the mast, I have it like taped on a boat hook and I kind of slid it in. This is inside the mast and then the bolt goes through this and it's a little bit of a compression tube so that when we tighten up this bolt, bolt it won't compress the mast. It'll, this will resist that force. We're gonna put a little bit of uh, this Sikaflex just on the, just around the head of the bolt and just around the bottom here. Stop any salt water from constantly getting through here. I'm sure there will be some salt water in this tube, but we'll try not to let it sit in here too much and then also to just try to isolate the bolt a little bit on the bottom here where it's touching the aluminum to prevent that corrosion as best we can. the first time relatively smooth let's hope it works three more times Got it. Two down, two to go. 
getting a little nervous because it's going a little too too smooth for a boat project. So. We got our new rudders are finally finished and yeah, it's such a huge difference. The new, just a nice smooth profile versus our old ones with just, I don't know, this huge coupling and big tube that would just, you know, just upsets the flow of water all around it. And then we even had a lot of the rudder shaft tube it was like that much more sticking out of the boat, so we trimmed that down as well. So hopefully it's just a lot less drag and a lot more control and just better steering. Did you tell them that we were getting like pitting in our rudder? Yeah, like these rudders, it's just stainless steel welded and it's a coupling with bolt, stainless steel bolts, so this whole thing is just a, it's just a timer. It's just a matter of time before it falls apart with all this stainless being underwater, especially these small stainless bolts. Um, I guess I could be proactive and change them out every six months or whatever. Even then, I don't know. But uh, I don't know, this is just gonna be much, much better for us and for the boat. Also wanted to show you like how the wells on the rudder are already like just, it was just corroding completely through. So just a matter of time before this thing just disintegrated. So it was better that we did it here and not in an island somewhere where we don't have any material or help. Yep. The only metal on this one is just the rudder shaft, which uh, most of it will be up in the boat. So now we, we got to get the rudders in the boat and it's going to take some time to get them lined up with each other and get the quadrants back on and do all the little things that we have to do um, for them to be ready, for the boat to be ready and we could pay a lot of extra money for them to like lift the boat and reblock it and stuff or let it sit in the sling all day and just pay for that time or we could dig a hole on each side we're we'll gonna fill, refill it fill it back in as soon as we're done but we have to dig a hole so we could slide the rudder up through there so i think i said before our our friend that we met down here had the molds for these rudders and it's not his business to help people do repairs for their boat or help them make rudders or whatever. Um, but he took the time and let me come into his shop and really showed me how to do it and, and helped me along. And he did a lot of the work himself as well to make these rudders. Uh, so, you know, we're super thankful to him for, for doing all that and, uh, and showing us how to do it and guiding us along. But uh, And sharing his knowledge on everything because he's very smart. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna take a little while. rudder is in obviously that space will be taken up a little bit when we lock everything in all the steering and everything and the fiberglass collar that holds it up oh it's just resting on the piece of wood for now now we got to fill in this big hole and then the absolute worst thing about owning a catamaran we have to do it all again Check it out, the other rudder's in. We got both Hello. rudders Hello. in the boat. This one was so much easier because I figured out I could just dig a deep hole straight down. It only had to be like that much, like that much deeper. 
but then I didn't have to dig all the way across to like slide it in at an angle. I could just drop it down, move the shaft over, and pop it up. Now I have so I think we should all give Billy a giant round of applause for putting in these new pins for a cross beam because he this little rabbit hole I was complaining about the other day, he had to sit in here for hours and hours and hours with his arm way up in here without being able to see. Had to try to fit a nut while I was screwing it in and he couldn't even see what he was looking at or reach it. But he did it. So way to go, Billy. Now I get to clean up in here and we're almost done. So we are scheduled to go in tomorrow. We are finishing the last few things. Billy is making sure the alignment on the new rudders is correct. And I am reattaching our trampoline. I did the other one yesterday, so we have one more. And then we have to attach the cable for the seagull striker and we have to attach the roller furler. And then we're ready to go in. We still have a lot more after that, but for now we're almost done with the yard. Which means done paying for the yard, which means good things. How you doing back there? Bad. Why? You're on camera. It's so annoying. Be positive. You're almost done. What? I love you. I love you too. 